so today I have you guys with the red enchilada recipe that you guys have been asking. These are going to be chicken red enchiladas. Now all the ingredients that you're going to need is half of a chicken breast. Now if you have a bigger family then go ahead and use the entire chicken breast. But since my family is not that big we only use half of it and we still have some leftover chicken. You're going to need six chili guajillos. You can find these at your local food mart or grocery store. Six chili ancho. This one's a wrinkly one. It's kind of whatever you're gonna need some ranchero queso fresco some chicken bouillon and obviously tortillas now the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and cook our chicken breast So it completely cooks and then you're ready to shred. Crumbled cheese. So now that we have our crumble cheese, you're going to want to go ahead and do your peppers. Now the way we're going to do these, see if I can get a knife, is we're going to go ahead and open them and take all the seeds out. And we're going to go ahead and put them in our blender. Like so. all our peppers in the blender you want the hottest hottest I mean the hottest water you can get do you guys see that steam that's the type of water we want you're gonna go ahead and add that to your blender I usually put a cup to we're gonna soak them that's what we're gonna do we're gonna leave them soaked but to keep the peppers down and not floating I put a cup in it I put the lid to it and now everything is under water nothing is hanging out of the water and I just go ahead and place that right here once your chicken is completely done we're gonna go ahead and start shredding it like so we want tiny pieces it's kind of hot you can let it cool down I kind of just stuffed it in the freezer but did the job How you want your chicken very shredded moving on to the enchilada sauce this peppers are done so we're gonna go ahead and take the cup out and throw some water out now you don't want a lot of water because you want your sauce to stick to your tortillas so you kind of want it thick you don't want a um, a runny sauce you want a thick sauce now this is this is when your chicken bouillon comes along you're gonna go ahead and add one teaspoon of chicken bouillon and half a teaspoon of salt. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and put that in the blender. Obviously, right? And get that sauce blending. Now that it's all done, you're gonna need a colander and you need to go ahead and pass this sauce through the colander to take all the extra skin. If you see 
that it's too thick, you can go ahead and add water into your blender and use that same water to pass it through. Now go ahead and stir until you get to it, until it starts boiling and bubbling. Now here comes the step where we make our tortillas. Now we want our tortillas to be soft, like so. That way we can roll them and they won't rip or anything. Now you want a fairly amount of oil. You want it to be extremely hot so your tortilla can start cooking. You're going to go ahead and put it and start rotating it over and over and over again until your tortilla is completely this color, almost see-through. You guys can't really tell, but it's not, let me see, it's not white. You guys see the different colors? So that's the color you want it to be. You don't want it toasted, you just want it soft. That way you can roll it. After your tortillas are done and softened, I'll say you need a workspace for this. So let's go ahead. The first thing you're going to do is you have to grab your tortilla, dip it in the sauce, turn it on. You don't want too much. Go ahead and put it in your plate. Add the chicken. Oops, I didn't get in that. Add the chicken and go ahead and roll. Don't worry guys, this is not for me, this is for Jose. You're gonna go ahead and sprinkle your cheese. Now for the side, I like to pair it up with some rice. Let's go ahead and do that. there you guys have it so these are so good you guys totally need to try it don't forget what if you try it tag me on instagram hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys next recipe bye